let me link you guys the video. Like, I'm going to be honest. Carl did the research that, I'll be real, I should have done. I should have known what he knew. I should have looked into it more. I didn't. He did. Give his video a like. He was right. Yeah, people are right. Yeah, I did not know. And, like, he knows way more about this than I do. Like, because yeah, I've watched a lot of his other videos knowledgeable. talking about speedruns. And so he knew more about it. Thank God for that. Yeah, this is a great fucking video. I'd like to respond <laughs> as our moderator. Okay, this is the same guy no from the last video that was talking about it. Okay, this is her. She has not responded yet. All right, you're going to respond. Oh, dang. Okay, so this is the guy. It... Queen Ponzalot's mod. I was also thinking, like, did she set this up all herself? Because it seems... Yeah, how did she come up with the second run's setup idea? Like, I wonder if she came up with it all herself or if someone actually, like, advised her. You remember this guy? Okay, we're going to get the real response for, uh, you know, at least the closest thing that we can get to it. Uh, for this white knights the rescue her mods coming in like a sheep for the slaughter. No, no I mean, he just wants to explain his point of view. What's wrong with that? Yeah, her mod did nothing wrong Yeah, th yeah, keep in mind guys the mod did nothing wrong. Be nice guys. Hey, what's up? Yo. Hey, can you guys hear me? Uh, uh, yeah. Yes, again. okay. We're good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. No thank way. You, Tilly. He's on BC you too. Thank you very much. Hi, oh, thank you, Atili. And hi, uh, Asman and Chad. Thank you so much for taking the time to talk with me. I appreciate your time. Oh, yeah. I mean, I appreciate yours as well. I mean, obviously, I'm sure you've probably seen the video. And so, uh, do you think that she cheated? I know for a fact that she didn't. Okay. How do you know that? Oh? Because I've watched her do it myself live. And I know that in, before, if I may, may I have a minute or two? Go ahead. I understand that everyone will call me biased. And I know that. I and understand that as, and as, and I am biased. I will admit that right. wholeheartedly and completely. I am biased. Mm -hmm. I've watched her do it personally. I've watched her do it multiple times personally. I also helped. His voice is shaking. With communication with Mitriz, the blindfold expert who's been helping her with the setup and everything that we went through. Mm -hmm. I'm happy to answer any questions regarding her setup. There is no need for anyone to lie about anything or not be transparent. She did nothing wrong. She did not cheat anything. She has not cheated anything. And I understand that there is a lot of skepticism. I understand there's a lot of questioning. And I think that it's important for us to understand that conjecture does not equal proof. There is no physical proof. There's a lot of conjecture. There's a lot of examining many things that are on the table that are that people claim, oh, she did this, she moved that, she did. But there's there's no. Are we gonna get a third run? And this time the camera will be like actually be from behind her, so it shows her entire desk. Maybe. <laughs> The chat, oh, I wasn't really reading chat. I hope they're not being too mean to him, but also it's like she, if she really did, has nothing to hide, like why isn't she hopping on the call? You know? Instead of her mod. Actual proof that any of this happened. Well, there's no proof that it and, did and, either. I, I, and, and of course, and what I would suggest. And if I may, um, to chat and to yourself, uh, Asmongold, and to anyone who questions whether or not she can and did do this, I, I want to legitimately ask, what would it take to prove that she is indeed legitimate? If it meant covering the third monitor, showing a camera with all three monitors... Wait, is it covering the third monitor? But that's admitting that there is a third monitor. <laughs> what? and showing that there are no other monitors present, showing that she's still wearing the exact same blindfold that was recommended by a world expert used by Mitra's and Bubzia themselves. You know, what does it take? Because I know for a fact that she can do this. She's done it not once, not twice, but several times. Her second she attempt is a pure... She faked it several times, maybe. I feel like he also wants to believe she didn't fake it. Because, you know... He wants to believe that she's honest person. Legitimate run that was done with every specification that Mitch Riz mentioned. And it's met mm. with nothing but criticism, which I, again, I understand. I don't think that it's unreasonable to be skeptical. 
but I think to, to bend an argument to fit your purpose is not appropriate. To say that, oh, this is what must have happened because this is what I believed happened, when it didn't happen, she's being accused of a crime she didn't commit. And I know that for a fact. I'm willing to I'm willing to put money on it. So like um, one dollar. Okay. Uh, all right. So first not thing for, is not that, him, but why I do would you think put one dollar like head in a different angle whenever she was wearing the other blindfold. Well, the first. You mean the well? Do you mean that the second blindfold versus the first? Yeah. He very biased. At least admits that. Yeah. I mean, even if she got nothing to hide, I understand her not wanting call with them and her side. They would be people trying to drama around her. Yeah, but like if she actually has good points to share, that like she, she could. But it's just this angle is also really odd to me. This camera angle, I don't know. It just plays in this perfect way that you can have a third here, and. It's just, I don't know. Sure. Whenever you're under a stress response, your body reacts differently. You position yourself differently. In the very first run when she's wearing the first blindfold, it was a carefree run on stream done with friends for a random, hey, I wonder if I can do this. Mm. It was a completely different circumstance. My, under understanding the of the, my understanding of the psychological body language, whenever that happens, people usually actually huddle up more to protect their, like, their mid body. Yeah, you hunch that's where more. Your are. That's where, mm, that's you know... Oh, I'm, I, a, I, I'm a physician. I'm a physician. You, you don't. That's not that's entirely not true. true. It's not entirely no, it's not true. Not well, which true. one is more no, true not, than the other? Well, people have different physiological responses to stress. Sure. And so, so her changing her body position, her head position, is in in one way or another. It, it doesn't mean that she's trying to position herself to see something or to maneuver something. I mean, if you, I, I wouldn't. I would even. I'd ha be happy to send you the same blindfold <laughs> she used. I would encourage you to try to do what she's been accused of doing and to see just how difficult that would even well, I mean, be. I could barely do. do it with the blindfold off, all right? So I don't I don't want to get that far. And and, and uh, congratulations by the way. Yeah, we're yeah. we're all very happy for you for, yeah, for I getting that it. kill. Yeah, we finally finally absolutely. fucking got it. But oh, um, nice. yeah, so all right. So you think that it's legitimate and you think that the way that she was sitting was just purely a stress response and I, it wasn't I, her. I don't if I may, I don't think I know. I know that it is legitimate. Okay. Uh, okay. Without a shadow of a doubt. Without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Um, Correct. So, have you seen her do it in person? The thing is, he's he's saying his statements to be asking for it to be believed without any proof. When he's saying that her faking it can't be true because there's no proof, but he's also saying that. He should be believed with no proof except his statement or his belief. I, I don't know. Yes. Okay. Um, like not over camera, but literally. Trust me, bro. I have I have been standing in the same exact room. Yes. Okay. Oh, okay. And so. I mean, if he was physically present in this room and he saw that she did not have the third monitor, and. If he was physically there, I would understand his frustration. Let me just think about this. For and, a and, 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 and I, I don't I'm think he was. Say, I mean, the, the, easy, the most direct response, right? The easiest Occam's razor is, well, let's just have someone watch it live, right? I understand that. I understand that it would be simple to say, well, let's get someone in the room, a verified expert, a bona fide person, oh, sure, the, sure, the, yeah. the, 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 the Pope even, right? Right, of course, um, naturally. Okay. But, but, but I also want to bring up the point that it doesn't seem like anybody else has been held to the standard that she's been held to. We have CSI investigating experts that have been going to every single length, looking to even the reflections on her phone, trying to analyze what's what? on that screen. And yet no other professional has been held to the same standard. That she has been. No one's Why asking everyone else is? to have. Well, I think it's because of the initial conjecture that she faced when she did her first run, and she's she is a nobody that decided to do this on a whim, and that caught the entire world uh, by storm. I feel like when she did her first run, it was accepted very positively. Like Adam will believed it. I thought it was real. I don't think. 
I, I don't know. I, I don't think she, I mean, maybe she did get a lot of negativity, especially from people who know blindfold runs and they can see it. But maybe it's also because it got to be watched by people who don't know about blind runs and we all believe this so much. And that's why it got nitpicked or nitpicked apart to like tell the rest of us like, nah, that's not real. I don't know. You know how I know they are right about the blindfold accusations because I used to cheat at pin the tail on the donkey all the time. <laughs> That's how I did it. Send the straight tilt hat. Yeah. You don't need a ton of space to see. Sure. I understand that it's a, uh, it's a person who's a nobody. You even said it yourself. When this all started, she had 250 she had, yeah, followers. Something like that. Uh, you know, she has exploded practically overnight. She's been killing this monster for years. Mm -hmm. Decides to do something that shakes the world up, turns the world on its feet, mm -hmm. or on its head, excuse me. Creates a world record practically accidentally. And how unlikely sure. and crazy that is. And, and I will argue that just because someone thinks something is improbable, does not make it impossible. I hear the word impossible being thrown around a lot. And something can be very improbable, but still possible. And when you have done something so many times and are a true expert at one particular mm. thing, you can do yeah. a lot of things that many other he's, people can He's do. overlooking a bunch of stuff that did get mentioned. Like reading chat when she's not supposed to be able to see anything. She's not a blindfold person. She's World not. She record. never has. Been. Yeah. She's not a professional blindfolded speedrunner. So then, how do you she think tried... she was able to, uh, like, rebalance the camera? Because I think because that's she... been that's one one yeah. of the main sure. points of difference. Sure. The person who taught her how to fight that monster is one of the world's leading experts, Azrael, who has eighty seven hundred kills on the monster, and what taught her to how do? to do it. Well, because it, it, it teaches her how to do it the exact same way every single time. And the camera balancing is actually not that hard to do. I myself am no expert. I can't do it. But other people that have very well, similar kill if counts it's are not, able to do it. If it's not that hard to do, then why can nobody else do it in the blindfold I community? Don't, because I think it's too early. I think that this is in such What's, a fledgling stage. you saying it's too early for any other game? Because, like, you know, there's, for example, like, you know, like Little Aggie, right? Uh, mm -hmm. He's also a speedrunner for Sekiro. Mm -hmm. I'm sure mm -hmm. he's probably killed a lot of the bosses in Sekiro mm -hmm. probably as many times, if not more times, than she's killed Altrion. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and he's using lock-on. So, like, well, how is sure. it that every single other person in this community is not able to rebalance their camera in any circumstance on any game in any capacity without a lock on but she was throughout the entire fight i'm not a blindfolded expert so i'm not sure but i will but i will say that again i think that if people in monster hunter specifically with yeah. this particular game i think that if people had enough time to continue to try it I think that you'd be surprised at the number of people that are able to do it. It'd be well, different if this guy is able to do it himself, but he can't either. And I, I wouldn't be surprised if his her mod played this game a ton too. But that's what everybody wants. Everybody do when world record is being and people just watch every single detail. That is true too. When there is a world record, people people will rewatch it over and over and make sure it's legit. If they're breaking the record, there's someone who held that record. They're gonna wanna break that apart, make sure it's legit, and their record didn't get broken by someone who's faking it. Ah, uh, but like I don't know. I I wonder if there's like literally actually no ounce of doubt, or if he's just writing it off. Well, right not now saying... it would be zero. Well, that number might be one. Right it now. might be one. You're right. It might be one. And and again. I'm not uh, trying to diminish the unlikelihood of what we're witnessing and what we've seen. Mm -hmm. I'm not trying to say that it's completely uh, that it that it doesn't seem 
absolutely astronomical. I understand the skepticism. I yes. think that it's very well-founded skepticism and very well-founded questioning. But but the thing that is um, becoming increasingly frustrating is this idea that, I, I, you know, with the first run, I get why people are, are all up in arms about yeah. that, sure. So we did everything we could, and when I say me, we, I mean Queen and myself and her other moderators and those that know her very well that helped her to get these mm -hmm. things set up so that we could do it legitimately so that we would take those questions off the table. And and we, we did that, and then it was met with initially after you covered it everyone was over the moon it was amazing it was, fa it was fantastic so she and did then... have people help her set this up maybe but my i just wonder why let me go back a little bit why does the camera end right here this is just like i just wish it's extended a little farther out it was there literally actually like impossible to kind of show a little more to the side I don't know. It just looks so intentionally just set up right there. Not that that's a proof for anything, but like it does go along with everything else that's been said or pointed out for the idea for it. For there to be a third monitor. Imagine going to a doctor recognizing this guy's voice as the dude in charge of your care. Uh, good news, can't get healthcare, so can't see doctor anyway. Won't find out. Don't gotta... I tried to fight Great Jagger's low rank with Master Rank Gears without seeing. Took 15 minutes to kill it and with lock on. Especially, you never know where the monster is otherwise. Oh, I didn't know that you play Banfo Monster Hunter too. That's a monster in Monster Hunter, right? Sounds like it. I don't know these things. But yeah, fighting without a lock on and still being able to. Follow the enemy perfectly right in the center in the most convenient placement Sounds crazy. I struggle with like camera even with lock on And then you lose lock sometimes. Yeah, even with my vision and lock on I still have camera issues not that because I can't do it She can do it, but this is just such an extreme that up so that we could do it legitimately and so that we would take those questions off the table. And and we, we did that, and then it was met with, initially, after you covered it, everyone was over the moon. It was amazing. It was, fa it was fantastic. And then, unfortunately, yeah. there were people that just still weren't convinced, and then they decided to double down on the skepticism. And still, reasonably so. Sure, that's fine. But mm -hmm. to claim, well, oh no, it has to be this way. It, it can't. It, it's just not possible. There's no way she can do it. She did it. Well, and she can do so, it again. So, so based off of that same argumentation, uh, mm -hmm. if you look at the other guy's video, um, I'm trying mm -hmm. to remember who the uh, what what his name was in this video, and he actually used the same controls that she did using the same blindfold. Mm -hmm. Yes. And yes, uh, Jesse, yeah. So yes, that's correct. He did the exact same thing that she did. Mm -hmm under she, the same controls well, well well hold on she he did not do the exact same thing she did how he did use the same he, because he did use a third Hi. monitor he did look from his blindfold at a third monitor and completed the run with by looking through the blindfold at that third monitor that's correct queen pones a lot did not do that did she look at obs she, through the third monitor no how do you know that because I know. Okay. I've seen her do this. I've seen her do this. No. I wish she can be like, no, I know she, uh, she didn't do it because I was standing right behind her or something. Otherwise, you don't. She could. Uh, How would you expect anybody not. else to believe that? I, I, I welcome the skepticism, but I'm then also why doesn't questioning she, whether. What, why I'm, hasn't she well, responded I, to it at all? Well, because she was waiting for everyone's response, including the second video from Carl Jobs. And including your response. Yeah, sure. And and I, I can tell you without a shadow of a doubt yeah. that she can replicate it any day of the week. What is he point, playing? Under any circumstance. So what, what you're playing? saying is that if oh. we provide, if the community provides a set of framework and constraints... In that case, she would be able to replicate the exact same thing. And she should do it, like, that day. <laughs> I'm 
so she can come up with... I don't know, but it's like such a pressure too. That's such a pressure. Grumble fantasy reeling. Oh. <laughs> I love how you know right away. Absolutely. Okay. Here's, here's, here, may I, may I offer a suggestion and you tell me if you think it's fair. Sure. I think, I think that she could cover all three of her monitors as she did on her stream. Bruh. Did I just hear what I think I heard? She could cover all three of her monitors as she did on her stream? She could show Discord so that she isn't accused- Wait, didn't I just- Spill the beans? ...of someone being in the Discord call providing her directions. She could show her task manager to ensure that there are no other programs or third-party software is running. She could show her download and installation folder for Monster Hunter to show Bruh? that there are no auto aim programs or damage. I can't. Even, I'm not even listening to him else. anymore because. Bro. She could do it again live. On stream. Um. Would that be and 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 show a camera or two cameras depicting all of her monitors that nothing else is being shown. I think that there probably have to be, like, I I mean, at oh, this three? point, I'd, I'd really have to think I'm about it. I'm stuck on that. Because it's something that's, like, very complex, and this is something that's kind of new to I me. I think you fumbled. So I'd have to really think about how many controls you would need. But I think that one thing that you would clearly need is that you would need a camera behind her. And Sure. Yeah. Uh, I, I, I would have to say that, yeah, probably a full room camera. To actually look at what and she's looking at. And a bucket over her head. And then also, why wouldn't she just turn the monitors off? Yeah. That interferes with her stream interface. It doesn't so matter. It'll be fine. Off, it changes her windows around. It can be very discombobulating on stream. As but she's blindfolded. Video, she's not a huge streamer. It's it's not something that she How has. How would turning the monitor off affect it? I, well, I don't I don't personally know because I'm not that sitting there messing with her setup. But I I from what she told me, the reason why she didn't want to turn her monitors off for the second run was because it would interfere with her stream. No, it won't. And that's why she chose to cover them. I can't Again, really... The... Uh, I, I can't really say... Like, whether that's true or not. But after using OBS for many years... I cannot think of a single instance where turning off a monitor... Will affect the inputs and the OBS <sighs> read of that monitor. Mm -hmm. Also, I have done, like, um... Subathons and stuff where I let the stream run so i'd pause the timer but i still have like the stream running right i've went to bed with the stream still going on my computer but i don't want to sleep in my room with three monitors or you know like two monitors and a tablet bright like light like lighting up my room so i've turned off all the screens let the stream going and went to bed Came back, the stream was fine. I know from experience it will not ruin her stream at all. Blindfold speed run strat, strat. The blanket. <laughs> I do think like like a tin bucket that's really big, so you can't like, you won't have issue breathing. That that's like the ultimate. It doesn't turn off the stream. No, <laughs> you can turn off your monitor. Your computer will run. Um, just make sure that you have your computer power safe mode to be like, uh, like run, like don't stop, keep going kind of thing. Set that up. It's a settings thing. I think you just want to make sure. Otherwise, I, I've been able to keep my stream going on without any issue with the monitor turned off. <laughs> Tim Bucket is really big. Hope that becomes a new normal. That'd be kind of funny. That's fine. OBS yeah. was not on her third monitor. It was not on her monitor that she uses for chat. You keep mentioning her third monitor. Like, I hope she he realizes he's doing that. My brain hurts. Wasn't this whole argument that there's only two? Yeah, he keeps mentioning the third. Really? So then yes. how would you explain, like, for example, the, the, uh, the button presses? The 10 second button presses that are then moving to the right. 
I don't know what she was moving at that point. So he, she is well, moving something. Was, yeah. Well, like sure. whenever she was setting it up, she mm -hmm. was moving the mouse. And I'm not sure, like I'd have to go back to like the initial video. But you can see the trajectory because she does have a mouse tracker along with the trajectory of the mouse. And mm -hmm. you can see that she's holding down the mouse button and then moving and dragging a, uh, a window around like this. Correct. Yeah. Right, right. I, I, sure. I know. I understand what she's been accused of. I, I understand that. And I don't know what m window she was moving into where, but I know that she did not move it to her third ch chat monitor and view, or excuse me, she did not move OBS to her chat monitor and look through her blindfold to watch OBS to complete her run. Mm -hmm. And how do you know that? He just believes. He's just a believer. I've seen her do it. Did you see her? It. She doesn't need it. I feel like he has seen as much as we have, which is whatever she decides to show, not like he was physically there. He's a believer, yeah. And honestly, if he's a true believer for years and he's been supporting her, thinking that she's like an honest person, like, you know, she's not like being deceitful with all her claims. It does suck. Well, no, so I wasn't she doesn't. In the room. So, so yeah, you didn't. You did. Well, what you're saying is like you didn't see this one, but it that would not make logical sense to you that she would fake this one whenever she did other ones with watching you or with you watching her, and it was the same thing. That's correct. Okay. And and again, if if we want to put the that particular argument to rest, would it be would it make sense along that logic to say, well, if she covered all of her monitors? So that there's nothing that can be seen at all, then would you agree that that would be consistent enough? If she no, can perform, no, I the would same want I would want her to show me what the problem is with OBS and why she can't turn the monitor off. Yeah, it's so weird. Okay, is it is it is turning the monitor off the same thing as covering it? No, is that no, no, you have to turn it off. Okay, my my question is why? That, I mean, that's fine. I, I I'm just curious. I'm again because I'm it not removes a, I'm a variable. Not a, Okay. It's very it's simple. simple. It's uh, it easier to do. Of uh, potentially being able to see through uh, what the pictures are. And if you're a streamer and your OBS is having an issue, you literally do not lose anything from so like fixing it. Whether it it's not, it's gonna benefit you beyond the the like trying to prove this blindfold run was real. Like, it's totally worth anyway. It's, she's not wasting time at all on that. And if it's okay. just simply removed, it would be gone. Okay. That's fair. Sure. Um, I now, have to, let, I Are we to really getting one. a third? I'm just going to... Uh, let's say she does these things. I mean, the, the, the one of the re other reasons why she hasn't responded, and mm. we've been talking about this throughout the week as we've awaited Carl's video, is there's this idea, as you're aware of, is moving the goalposts. Right. It, it, you know, that, that like we mentioned before and like she mentioned and like you even mentioned that if if someone doesn't want to admit they're wrong, they'll look for any reason they can to continually shift the blame or to come up with some other excuse or some other reason sure. as to why they suspect mm -hmm. that she's cheating. So my, the reason why she hasn't responded is this idea that, well, even if she does it under all of these these stringent specifications and all of the things that everybody's mentioning to her and it takes all the advice of all the professionals and all the experts and whoever else questions it and then she does it again well then what are they going to come up with i mean this this person i think at that point she wins she she gets to she gets to win like 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 that's like she 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 literally becomes queen <laughs> It sucks that if she did everything legitimately and it got picked up hard this much, that must have been really stressful and that's not cool. But like, she also wanted her video or maybe not her. I feel like she probably did, but I think she was happy that Asmongold watched her. So she wanted this attention. She's getting a ton more from doing it a third time. And if she's able to, yeah, show that she actually can do it, like, I don't, I think she has a lot to gain from doing a third legitimate run than not do anything. She loses so much from not showing that she can actually do it if she can. If she can't turn off the monitor, just make, 
it faced the other way. That's true too. Just turn it around. You're absolutely right. And did something that I think should have been in a way celebrated, and she's been abused, harassed, threatened. It's not That's been not fun cool. for her. Yeah, um, I get that. And so I, I think in terms of moving the goalposts, like what my goalposts would be, frankly, don't really matter. Like people and are so weird. Like they, I, I'm sure she's getting a lot of like hate and stuff, which, you know, like that must be stressful. But like even like people who believed that her run was legitimate when she did her first try and stuff and people are reacting it on YouTube. Even they get hate for believing her, like her, her what she showed. It, that's not necessary. And so, like, I don't want to set up a group of parameters because I think that if anything, the one thing that the Carl video showed me is that it showed me that I don't know what I don't know. Yeah. And if I was ever going to set a group of parameters for this, I would consult with people that know a lot more about it like than I do. Like this guy. Because at this point, I'm, I don't, I'm not confident in my ability to fully assess the situation in an accurate way. And I think this mm -hmm. video has made me certain of that, of that reality. And I, I don't, I'm not, I don't feel bad about that or anything. It's just that you have to know what you don't know. Of and um, Und understood. And, so and I'd have to talk that, to these and, other people and figure that out. Yeah, myself. And, 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 I, and I agree with you. In a way, too, mm -hmm. the, the same thing happened to her. She did her initial blindfolded run on a whim on stream with no particular uh, set of guidelines. She didn't know what she didn't know either. So she reached out to a, a, a credible expert who was a world record holder in that community and, and followed the exact specifications that he set out. Well, what and what is his opinion of this? Who is this person? I've spoken with Mitch Riz, and oh. he is on the fence, admittedly. And one of the things that he mentioned in his initial message, this is why she actually didn't cover up her monitors at first when she was thinking about setting. Yeah, it. sure. He flat out he flat out said, if you if you have a proper blindfold on your face, it wouldn't matter if the monitor's in front of your face. Well, and so she actually con kept the monitors blocked with any game put informa input information on it as an added proof to, to, again, to remove that variable. I would want to see why the, uh, what the OBS problem is. I want okay. to see uh, what that I, OBS I, I problem yeah. is because I don't I, believe that. Like I've streamed for many years. I've set up many streams. Mm -hmm. I cannot think of a single instance in which obs would not be running like uh without for example, the monitor right? on um, also I, it also occurred to me this size paper is so unusual you have to go out of your way to get this size paper and to have it have your logo printed on it and everything i feel like the amount of effort it probably takes to fix like set this up it's probably easier to just like Set up your, like, fix your OBS, if that's what happens. It's worth fixing it as a streamer. I'm gonna turn off my monitor right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, is the stream still on, guys? Yeah, I can turn no, it I, off, too. If I, if I understand her, her issue correctly, and again, I yes. don't know exactly what she means, but I don't think that it's that it turns the stream off, but rather her windows and themselves because of the display settings on her various monitors shift all of them around which doesn't and matter in, if in you a, can't in a high see high stress situation on stream live in front of a couple hundred people which is a large audience for her sure that that, that can get very stressful and under pressure she didn't want to have to do all of that amidst the run when the world was watching and so she thought well if i just cover them and I can't see through the paper, and I have a blindfold on, and this blindfold expert world record holder says, I don't even need to cover them if I'm wearing the blindfold, then that's just an added proof, an added check, an added variable that I can take away. Did, you, to did prove she that this print is out the paper on stream? Did she print the paper on stream? Yeah. Uh, no, they were purchased ahead of time. So you're saying that whenever she made the constraints for it, she wasn't under that pressure? I'm sorry, I don't understand what, you're, what you mean. So the implication was that the reason why she didn't turn off the monitors and fix this issue oh, was because she uh, was on actually, the if I, I'm sorry, I just got a message from Mitch Riz. He's actually watching right now. He's the world record holder. He would like to know if 
you'd want his opinion Can you add in, included, uh, I'd be happy to. What is a world yeah, record up, holder for Hello. what? Yo, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you good. Okay, um, so you said you've been watching. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I mean, I, I, I just joined like two minutes ago. But, well, you probably uh, saw the video though, right? Oh, yeah, I saw the yeah. video, yeah. What's your, uh, what's your thoughts? I'm so impressed, though, that people can just, like, hop into a voice call with a complete stranger that they don't really know and just talk. I can't. I, I can't do that. I'm impressed uh, so when I'm, people can. I'm just 100% on the side of, you know, evidence, letting people prove I'm too things, introverted. You know, things coming to where they are, not leaving anything on belief. And uh, the evidence right now, I think, and I've told Dapper this, I think the evidence right now points pretty uh strongly in the way of not meeting uh i would say the proof that would be needed for blindfolded um, you know i'm trying not to like put it too harshly but if you uh, were that's, to create that's a ooh. percentage of like what? the likelihood based off of the evidence that's been, pre been presented to you uh did it i think the mod like i wanted him in thinking they'd be on the same side i don't think this is what he expected was real after seeing the carl video where would you put that percentage that it was real? Uh, I'd put it in the very low percent, uh, not zero, because I can never give 100% certainty of any, yeah. anything. How about 99? Mm. But uh, uh, 97? maybe I, I could probably go 97, honestly. Okay. All right. So the, yeah, that's about right. Okay. And so you basically gave her some insight into. So you've killed the boss. You've killed Altrion. Mm -hmm. uh, sorry, sorry. No, I have not killed the boss. I'm an expert on blindfolded in other games. Okay. My main game is uh, Sekiro that I've done blindfolded. Okay. So what ah. makes you, beyond the information that you saw provided in the videos, what makes you an like, what what makes you think that it's so low percentage that it's real? Is there anything uh, that, like, for example, like Carl didn't have in his video or I haven't caught? Uh, there, there is uh, a couple of things. So, right. well, I mean, the biggest thing is, is from the get-go, the camera movement, of course, was uh, humanly impossible, I think is a good way to put it, where it's not impossible impossible, it's just humanly impossible as in we've never mm -hmm. ever seen anybody throughout any game not monster hunter not sekiro not elden ring not so so you you're know, confirming, any other game because that's what i said too is that i've never seen somebody in a blindfolded run not run around randomly n not knowing what their camera is because so you play sekiro mm -hmm. sekiro has a lockdown also if someone is trying to prove that they can do something that's humanly impossible i don't think it is too cruel to want it to be proven in a very like detailed way if someone is trying to claim that they can do something that is supposed to be humanly impossible i don't think the people are being too cruel wanting to like like pick apart her run i don't know hmm uh, would you yes. be able to complete a Sekiro blindfold run without lock-on? For the bosses, I'm trying to think if there's any that I could. <laughs> well, there's one, but we use a, a cheese. We kind of stick them in the corner. Uh, but for legitimately Call fighting, it. running around, trying to find them, there's only one boss that we do that occasionally because the lock-on just breaks in the game. It's mm -hmm. a little wonky. Um, and yeah, even lock basically on the goal work. is just to get the lock does on it back as fast as possible. So I would basically say no. If I if the lock on breaks and I was never able to get it back, I don't think I could. Okay, I, I don't think so, I could kill the boss blindfolded at all. And how many mm -hmm. times do you think you've killed? Are you talking about Kenichiro, how you get him in the corner and you hit him with the left side of the sword? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. that's okay. the one that we we stick him in the corner. The one that yeah. I was talking about, where we can br is sometimes the lock on just breaks, is uh, Gyobu. Um, sometimes he just runs too far away, and the, oh, the lock on yeah. just goes away. Yeah, sure. Um, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, how many times have you killed those bosses? If put in a uh, at least thousands. 
at least at, at the very least thousands. So and that's individual How many? boss. You're saying you've killed each boss thousands of times, or you've collectively killed all the bosses thousands of times? Uh both? I mean okay. uh, in terms wow. of I can bring up my live split and tell you my attempt counter for speed. Yeah, runs. yeah. Yeah, sure. Let me let me let me grab that. It's not gonna be hundred percent accurate because sometimes splits get reset and split across different categories, but using another computer maybe yeah, I have no idea. Uh, I don't remember if I ever did another computer, but for specifically any percent, I have an attempt count of 6,292. 6,292. Hey. Okay, so logically yes. you would assume that... Oh my god. And those are blindfolded runs? No, those are not blindfolded. Okay, uh, just... Let me check blindfolded splits. May I interrupt uh, and ask a question while we're waiting? Uh. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt. Um, I guess the question that I wanted to ask in the long run is if you could set a set of standards that we all could agree on and she uh, could repeat it, would the it be only believe? way that I could? I think the mod realized, oh dang it, I invited this guy to be able to come into the voice call and this is not helping me. Dang it! Do that would be if I was able to have somebody watching it in real life. Uh, I don't think there would be any way at this point because there's too much uncertainty. I think that you can control for almost any variable. So unless everybody else was in a consensus about this, uh, about creating certain controls that people were, were certain about, uh, you would need to have somebody there actually watching it themselves. And then also that person would need to have a degree of competency beyond a layman, such as myself. So I think that that's and, probably uh, I the have bottom offered line. To do that. Okay. I have offered to do that as a, uh, a me and Dapper have, uh, I don't know if this is a leak, sorry Dapper, but uh, we've talked about the, the potential to, uh, to have that happen. I would, I would be happy to, to see it and have my, my mind changed. I might be one of the only people left that in the blindfolded community that has a you know, percentage that isn't basically 100. Um, but yeah, for blindfolded attempts, I found it, I've done 106. Uh, 97% is so high too, still though. Uh... 60 blindfolded uh, runs to get my current PB of an hour 33. It's a long run, so I, it's hard sure. to get that Sure, okay, so to. you had done more runs than she had for all a tray on that were blindfolded. Because whenever yes. she initially was talking about how many attempts did it take her to kill the boss blindfolded, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, Dapper, but I'm fairly certain you said that, or she said that it was under 20 and potentially even under 10. At I remember in of, one of her videos, she said half a dozen. Yeah, at the first attempt. Okay, at the, at so the time six. Of the first attempts. That's, that, that's so, correct. So there were six attempts. And so after this six... Was her, her second run, she took six attempts to perform this on stream. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what correct. about the first run whenever she did it blindfolded the first time? I she don't know just how many did, times uh, she practiced beforehand. But, but it, was a, stream, it was a handful, it was, though, right? It, it was a handful on stream yeah. and probably about maybe a dozen, maybe two dozen off stream. Right, okay, so practicing, definitely a practicing, lot. Pra practicing with a friend, directing her in <laughs> with a hunting horn, moving around the map. Who and was not right, mindful. Completely different set of circumstances. Yeah, it was definitely. Not intent it, was, it was not intended to be a solo run. It was supposed to be a, an on-stream, carefree, fun thing with a friend, working with her in the hunt. Completely different apples to oranges comparison. Sure. Um, yeah, I understand that. So... It does seem to me that it is very uncertain that, like, for example, uh, I'm trying to think if there's another boss in Sekiro that I can use as an example. Um, Don't spy it. <laughs> how about Gyobu? Could you do Gyobu blindfolded without lock-on at all? You know, he's like Gyobu. Gyobu can mean, like, cute in Korean. Like, Be um, because the majority of the attempts, and if you could, hmm. how sloppy would it be? Oh, it would be it would be very sloppy. I can guarantee it would be sloppy. Um, the main thing for fighting anything in Sekiro is that you have to be looking at them. Otherwise, the deflect just doesn't function. They'll just hit you from behind. Um, yeah, and you can't I, yeah, I played them. and beat the game, I know. 
Yeah, yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so that would be the hardest part of it. Um, in terms of generally keeping him somewhat in front of you, that's possible. Um, I don't think the viewers would have a good experience because every time that uh, I do that, if I can't use lock-on to center my camera vertically, every single time I end up staring at the floor or staring at up into the sky. I, I can never keep the camera in the middle at all. And this is with a but boss I that think you... It could be possible but this is with the boss that you i mean i'm assuming out of 160 attempts you probably got to Gyobo mm -hmm. at least half of the time right if not pretty much all the time pretty much all the time uh yeah. most of the attempts ended up dying at guardian ape which is the second to last boss yeah yeah okay so and and you think that you would have massive camera issues even after i would assume like 150 maybe even almost attempts at Gyobu. Mm -hmm. that's like that's the guy by the way guys that's the guy that's the guy on the horse and he's like my name is like that's that guy he's like very very early in the game uh also mm -hmm. much much easier to kill than Alatreon. certainly he's he's not that hard of a boss to be honest no, uh, no. even even blindfolded if you have lock on you can basically just block all of his attacks just stand there blocking and he mm -hmm. can't really hit you he's like you a strat Okay, yeah, I guess so. And so you think that the chances of her doing that legitimately, especially after seeing the camera move up and down, are just like so astronomically no, so astronomically low that it is approaching things that are just not humanly possible. Yes, I think that's that's absolutely the 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 first easiest sort of clearest way to know. Yeah. Of course, there's obviously the other Harry. stuff. Other than that, the first blindfold being obviously transparent and it has to be folded to not be transparent the yeah. uh, second attempt there is clearly a third monitor that is clearly on and has something on it and is clearly hidden intentionally from camera to the direct uh counter to what i told her specifically because she contacted me and i specifically said hey if you want to set up a another camera here's how you do it you show all your monitors you if so didn't... there is a third monitor. For real, for real. If you didn't show a monitor, somebody could cheat like that. So, so make you, sure told, you, show you told her to show all like the this. monitors? Uh, I don't think I specifically stated in exact words, show all your monitors. But what I did say, and actually... It's probably it show the, your monitor, like have quote. a camera that shows your monitor, right? Something like that? It was... I can give you... For real, insight. for real. Whoa. The only two monitors that display any game information or anything related to stream are her front monitor and left hand monitor. Well, is that her mod speaking? He keeps saying things that confirms that there was a third monitor. Well, that's not monitor, true because the information related to stream would be her chat. Well, it's chatty. Which is related to her stream. The, the, well, right, the, the, the app, Chatty, but it doesn't display game information. It doesn't display any any game screen. Okay. Um, okay, so what, yeah, I, what I said exactly is, if you only show that the monitors in front of you are turned off, then it's always possible to have a monitor that isn't shown on the camera unless you set up, like, ten cameras to capture every inch of the room. So that's... That is what I said. I specifically mentioned you need to, I, I guess I didn't say you need to show this, but I said if you don't show all of them, it's always possible to have one off screen that isn't shown. That is what I said. So why do you think that she didn't cover the third monitor? Dapper. Dapper pretty much confirmed that there is a third monitor. I don't know if he wanted to do that or not, but he did. And the fact that it is here, it just... It, that's exactly what people are saying who don't trust her. So, like, it's kind of a done deal, isn't it? She has her, chat, she had her chat information on her third monitor. So, and again, the so only the, two... Well, and the only wait two a second. Was, so the logic is sure. that she didn't show the monitor because the monitor wasn't relevant. Is that correct? For... That's that's Dabber. point one. The monitor itself was not relevant. You just the confirmed there is a third monitor. She only monitor. had access to one additional camera, and in order to display her hands and mouse and the other monitors that would have had Dabber. game information on it, she wouldn't be able to display everything all in one setting. 
Well, of course she could. Couldn't she just turn the camera a little bit more to the right and then have all three of the monitors yes. within view? Because not the way that not the way that her monitors are set up on her desk. No, we both tried to do that. We tried to arrange it so that everything was shown, and it was one. Of, it was a situation where you could either only see one or not the other. And it, it, we could get the most information that people would want to see mm -hmm. and have questions about with the camera angle that was chosen. Uh, uh, you might not realize halfway through that is there's no other monitor stems wouldn't work. Yeah. Okay, so um, if that's the case and she didn't think that monitor would be relevant to the conversation. This and is kind of it was painful okay now. that she had that monitor uncovered. Then why didn't she read chat at the beginning whenever that person said that they were going to make up another lie? So what ended up happening was that, and that, that's why I wanted to ask you this question, is that mm -hmm. if you're saying that she, she didn't do it because she didn't think the monitor would be relevant, and if mm -hmm. she didn't think the third monitor would be problematic, then why was she pretending to read it off of the sheet of paper rather than reading it off of the chat on the yeah. third monitor? Also, I think if she she could have been like, I have a third monitor here, showed everybody, like turned the camera for a bit. Uh, but I can't get all three in shots, so you're just gonna see two. Like, if she was more open about this whole thing, I don't know. It would have been I better. I don't know, I'm, I wasn't there to ask her that question myself. If you were me, why would you think that would be? If I'm sorry? If you were me in mm -hmm. this situation mm -hmm. and you saw that happen, what would sure. you think? Uh, right. I, I, I think I can understand what you're at least implying or insinuating. Yes. You are, you're, you're, you're insinuating that... That with the present she... amount of information, it's obvious that she sure. was trying to make people believe that she only had two monitors mm -hmm. because if she wasn't she would have covered it. And if she thought that having the third monitor be there in the first place was okay, she wouldn't have tried to hide and then stop herself mid-sentence and then read it off of the second monitor again mm -hmm. if she was okay that the chat was there on the third monitor. And if she knew that the third monitor was compromising her, then she would have never looked on the second monitor. And if she knew... That... Go ahead. Sorry, sorry. She, she was ne I don't think that she was ever trying to hide the presence of a third monitor at all, period. Okay. I don't think that she was trying to mask anything. I don't, I, it really was, in my opinion, or at least I would think her opinion, a non issue. If it was like, a like, non issue, like, then why didn't, and again, it, it, th then why did she I'm try sorry. to, why did she look under the paper for the second monitor? She said, I forgot what you said. And then she turned around and tried to look in the under the paper for the second monitor. Why would you logically do that? Like, you know, for example, it's like if you have one monitor and it's running chat and you have another monitor with the sheet over it and it's mm -hmm. also running chat and you're reading off of the third mon the, the, th the third monitor and then you, you stop yourself. You're like, wait, what did you say again? And then you pull up the sheet of paper to look on the second monitor. It doesn't logically make sense. And also, I think that there is proof that she had OBS on the third monitor. And I think the proof for that is the fact that after she pulled up the blindfold, she moved her hair back as she looked towards the third monitor. I've never seen a person do that when they're not looking in the mirror. Have you? Mm. No, but I don't think that that's what happened. But that's what's on and, the camera. Again, my, my question, for, so I'm actually, I'm getting a message from her. She is trying to answer your questions. Apparently She's trying to say stop. The chatty stop. doesn't show, such as flagged messages or flagged content. The chatty does not show. I'm pretty sure it wasn't flagged content because the person had a, uh, they're, they're a subscriber. So it wouldn't have been. They're a VIP. Because like, if they're a bit subscriber or a, uh, a subscriber right there, I'm assuming the crown is because they were um, subscribed, uh, it wouldn't have flagged their message. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought he was saying like he was flagged because it was like a... Like a warning. Because like sometimes like there, if like you share a ban list with your 
your friends and their band in your friend's stream, it will kind of highlight it. I thought that's what it meant, but I'm like, they're VIP, that can happen. As Andres is Dr. Pepper because he knows the debate is won. At this point, as I was like watching, I'm thinking like, this story, I will, I will watch the rest, but it's really only interesting from now on if she actually did it. And she can prove it that she actually did it. At this point, it's pretty much like I, like, it's it's not real. It's only interesting now if it's for real, for real. And otherwise, it's kind of like can't. It's not believable. And also, if the message was flagged, then uh, Carl wouldn't have been able to see it because it wouldn't have shown in the chat replay. So he would have never had access to this information unless it was displayed naturally on stream. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, I I wasn't there, so I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, sure. I, again, I mean, I I, know. it's I'm, it's not I'm, your stream. I, I, I'm yeah, I'm yeah, I get. This person says, "Trust me, I know." And then, like, for every good point that Aspen Gold makes, it's I I'm not sure I wasn't there. And then, uh, it says. <sighs> Brother? Going a lot of past information, and it's it's difficult for me to answer questions about what's going on at that particular moment. Of course, you know, and and, and as a person, again, I'm I'm trying to look at this from a bird's eye view here because again, you, Asmongold, you are a true professional. Well, not a, not a, not at speed running these games and being able no, to tell that no. they're they're fake. I I'm, I don't know that. I'll tell you that. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying as a streamer though, and, oh, yeah. and so whenever whenever a person who is has been streaming, in her case for uh, uh, 10 to 30 to 70 viewers she just got partner literally a week and a half before this all happened and all of a sudden her stream explodes and the world comes after her saying that everything she did in this you can't get partner unless you have like 70 or 75 average views for like almost a month no she was not streaming to 10 people i, I feel like partners usually it doesn't suddenly happen it gradually you go out views over time but i mean i'm sure she had way more than what she's used to yeah but i mean i'm sure it's like added stress she probably had like hundreds or like thousands of views during her live stream for this one that's why I'm like, I cannot believe, like, I can't imagine doing this to myself. It so, seems so stressful. This thing is fake. For the very first time, she gets international attention in front of uh, a large audience such as yours, and overnight practically explodes. And then it's expected to perform a world record yet again under extremely stringent specifications while the entire world is watching. I think it's understandable for someone to get a little flustered. And I'm not mm -hmm. saying that just, oh, you know, okay, so she's flustered, so all this stuff just goes out the window. But what I'm asking you is to give her the opportunity to prove that she can do it. Under yeah. any specifications that any expert out there would recommend. That's a good point. You give her a, give, give her a chance to prove that she can do what, you, what she says she can do. If you want to throw the gauntlet down, I'm sure that there are people who can come up with constraints that will make sense out of it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. No way, there's I third. Ask, I would also, ask very graciously. you said she's texting you, she's listening to the argument. What's the problem with OBS? Oof. There are apparently two different inputs. She has a streaming PC and she has a gaming PC. Uh -huh. And when she turns her monitors off, multiple inputs could cause the one of the inputs to default to one of the other PC monitors. Oh, okay. Well, I, I have a very simple setup. Everything's coming out of one PC, so maybe maybe I'm just dumb for thinking you can just turn off the monitor and stream will continue. But I really feel like turning off monitor doesn't cut the power out of your computer the monitors do not control your input exactly that's what i'm thinking it can like shift your your windows around your programs can like move around to different monitors but it doesn't like turn off your computer or the other PCs, what software so. does she use to, to do that with i i i don't know ask her because this is, I, I, I do know about I, this. Yeah, yeah. May I, may I add someone else to the call who may be able to a answer the more technical aspects? Because Bing, I, I this is becoming know. like a Absolutely. conference. If I may, while we're waiting, I would very graciously ask that if we are given the opportunity for her to as you said, throw <laughs> yes. the gauntlet down, that you would allow her sufficient time to collect herself before doing this. 
because she has faced an inordinate amount of pressure. And Absolutely. that it's can be ve- it can be very emotionally charging time for a person who is just Yeah, really I mean if this is for real for real and this is what she's getting in front of literal millions of people that don't believe she did something that she did indeed do. And that if I hope if she any can one person in this chat or on the stream or anyone had been accused of a crime they didn't commit, I think that you would be very uh, you would not be handling it well yourself. Mm-hmm. And that, that it may take time for her to in- get the proper setup ensure that she has all the proper specifications and to emotionally ready herself too because she understands she's under a microscope okay uh who's the other person you're adding in? Uh, i'm i'm sorry i'm 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 uh adding them in yeah and you're right obviously being put under pressure like that by the way i i understand that you're right i understand yo what's up hi hey um, how can I help? Hey, what? Good question. <laughs> Dapper, uh, yeah, was, I, I, added you, I added you to the call because you were helpful in getting Queen's PC <laughs> set up and can answer more questions related to her monitors being turned off and why that would be problematic for her. Right. So, um, on one of her monitors, the one that is covered, uh, it has two <laughs> inputs one for the streaming PC. And the other one for her main gaming rig. That was and, funny. And uh, sometimes, uh, turning it off and on again, <laughs> it defaults to the other monitor. Like, I'm such a... Like, remember... I don't know if you guys remember, but, like, earlier I was like, I'm so impressed people can just hop into a voice call with, like, people that they don't know and hold, like, a regular <laughs> conversation. I'm impressed. Uh, this is, like, kind of close to, like, how I would feel. I'm like, uh... What am I doing? Who am I? Who are you? What are we? Where are we? What software does she use? Uh, OBS on the streaming PC. In order to set up the two PC setup? Yeah. So it's running through a GoX, uh, sorry, a um, Elgato capture card. Which one? Uh, 4K. I can't be too certain on the specifics. Elgato capture card is needed okay. for two computer um, setup? Well, let's find out. So I'm streaming right now. I'm using a two PC setup. I'm using the Elgato 4K capture card. Oh. And I just turned okay. off my monitor. And uh. the screen didn't change. It didn't change the uh, input? No. Why would it? Oh. And, um, how, has, what, has and what, do you, what do you mean by the input? Uh, one is on HDMI cable, and another one is um, uh, DisplayPort, I believe. Mm-hmm. Uh, no, it does not change the input at all in any capacity. Uh, as you can see, I can move my mouse around, and um, it's kind of hard to tell. But uh, there's my screen. I don't know if you can tell right from there. And then there's the blank monitor, and then on the other side, there's the chat. So, yeah, uh, yeah if you if you turn over. the monitor off, uh, it will not have any effect whatsoever on OBS because OBS is capturing the information that's being put on the screen regardless. Yeah, and also even if it moves the programs around different monitors, I think it's worth just shutting it off during the blindfold run and then beat the boss, turn it back on, just take like five minutes putting it back to where you want it to be. People will be hyped anyway during that time, just, you know... If they're they're not gonna be bored for five minutes as you readjust your windows. It's not like the monitor removes the information; it just simply stops displaying it. Yeah. Uh, uh, well, uh, I can't be sure, but she might be running OBS from her main PC. But maybe she ran into some kind of issue. Well, she was running it from her main PC, and the way mm. I can tell yeah. that is that she, uh, what do you call it? She was showing OBS on her main PC as well. So, so you right. don't know whether she was using a two PC setup or not. At the time, I don't know if she was using the two PC setup, but um, if both of them happen to be on at the what? same time, that's when the input issue could occur. The display. I mean. Bo- both of the two PCs were on at the same time. Well, I thought he was vouching yeah. that she has that setup. Um, <laughs> I don't really think that makes sense. Uh, because. I think if, if... He so has a headache yeah. now. I, I just think, oh, no. I, I understand that we're trying to get to the bottom of, of that particular question. I think the answer is just to say, okay, for the next run, you turn all the monitors off. 
I do think that the monitors would have to be off. Every single monitor would have to be completely off. Uh, sure. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, yeah. Sure. Done. Again, I, I, I want to be transparent. I want to work with the community. I want to try to do everything I can to, and for her to be as transparent as possible because we understand that we're under such scrutiny. I'm not trying to dodge anything. I'm not trying to... Uh, to this is to not about him, though. It's about I her. To hide. She has nothing to hide. She did not cheat. Okay. Um, so I'm not sure... Uh... Who, who what what's the name of the person that the third person that was added uh that they explained the tech stuff sorry i'm not sure if i got your name uh mcgleaves mcgleaves have you seen this video and do you do you understand like the nuances to the video at least to a, a relative extent uh, i'm not sure how familiar you are with the the topic the blindfold run yeah i uh, i have been keeping an eye on it yes so what do you think mm. I think it's entirely possible that she 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 actually managed to do it. I've seen her kill this um, uh, this monster multiple that's times. That's not his reaction to the video, though. That's that's not the question. Sometimes, while well, like she's playing, and she could turn around and look at you and still be killing the monster. So I think it's entirely possible. Do you think it's likely? Yes. Okay. Um, so why do you think that your opinion of it is so much different in terms of like your likelihood than somebody who does blindfolded speed runs all the time? Well, I might, I'm, I may be biased because, you know, I've seen her do it personally, mm -hmm. you know? Okay. So you've seen her but do again, it personally. Well, so be... you've seen her do it personally. And whenever you say personally, do you mean in person or you've seen it yourself? Uh, in person, physically, yes. You physically oh. see her do Altrion blindfolded. Like present in not the room. Blindfolded, not per se. Okay. But, oh, um, okay. As she's playing, like looking around the room, acting like, you know, she's not even looking at the screen. Yeah. She's not sure. even looking at the screen sometimes, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I would assume that. That's I why mean, I'm saying it's likely. Yeah, okay. So both of you, like, effectively know her in, in real life. And so it would make sense that you're hey, both is. able to actually see her do this in person and everything. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Uh, I'm trying to think about whatever else there is to it because, like, yeah, I, I think that it just seems extremely unlikely that she's able to center her camera in the extent that she is. And also, uh, you said that you helped her set up all of her tech stuff. Yes. Can you explain what each monitor would be for? Um, usually the left-hand monitor would be for... Um... OBS, middle monitor, obviously the main gaming monitor, and over the right hand side, uh, chatty and uh, sometimes Spotify. Also, the control and alt keys in Monster Hunter center the camera. And and Asmongold, may I ask a question? Because oh. I'm trying to formulate I'm trying to formulate the conditions for which we would potentially. Does she press that though? Control and alt. That should show up in the corner bottom, right? The bottom la left. It would have shown. I wonder if she uses that a ton. We'd be repeating this. Um, as you could, un as you all could understand, the entire run itself, in anywhere between ten to fifteen to twenty, or as many as thirty minutes, for a completed run, of course, is is a, is a notable feat. My question to you is: if this is a question of her camera, of her ability to center her camera, I don't think is this considered drama. I don't think it's really a drama. It's more like. I find this kind of educational. I don't know. Then, would you say that it's fair that all she has to do is replicate a small portion of a run? For example, five minutes, rather than the entire thing. I don't know that. Um, because yeah, interesting. I don't, like, so it seems like really is it a drama? I think it's because I'm like thinking, I guess as a in the perspective of like. Someone who doesn't really know what to look for when someone does a blindfold run. I mean, for her, it's probably a big drama, but... I think it also is doesn't didn't feel that way because the guy who made the, the first video that we watched, he, he does it just very, like... He just points out very, like, objective, like, just proofs. It's more about, like, 
evidence that he found and then he wraps up the video very nice like he's like i'm not emotionally charged about this like he found that this whole thing was interesting and he kind of like moves on Serial time we watch and enjoy, yeah, basically. As I said, after this video, I don't know what I don't know. Okay, that's okay, fair. So, so I, cute. I, I, like, I, I, I would have to really think about that. Is he so hopping in this game? And, the control and alt buttons recenter the camera, is that correct? That That's correct. Okay, give me one second. Um, I'm oh, gonna he's go doing ahead. it. Use it not in the first attempt, but she does use it in the second kill. She uses uh, alt a few times. She never uses control. Um, but they are, I think I counted a total of two times that mm -hmm. she uses it to center the camera vertically, and almost every other time is to make a snap 90 degree turn, not to center the camera vertically. Okay, so if I use... I think she uses it in total around six or seven times. Yeah, he's actually going in game, okay. hopping in game. So, and I want to make sure that I'm inside Where are the cats? of the... How come his cat looks different? I'm inside of the boss fight with Altrion, so we have a complete perfect test for this. No way. Alright, give me one second and make sure I get my food buff and everything so I don't get hit in one kill. So you're saying that in order to maintain the camera elevation, what she ended up doing was she was pressing the alt key, which is what recenters her camera, in it order to turns keep it around that completely, in the same no? position, is that correct? I'm saying she did not do that. I'm saying that so there were oh, gotcha. two instances where you could argue that she used it that way. There were two instances where her camera was a bit high. She pressed alt and it reset to neutral. And every single other time that she wanted to reset it to neutral, she did it manually using her mouse. How did she know the perfect time that she needs it for that though? She only used it when it was really off then. How did she know that that's time she needs it that's the only time well how would she be able to know that it wasn't neutral if she was blindfolded okay there we go <laughs> i don't know I, I if you had to guess do not know uh... um my guess or at least the explanation that i believe that she would give and i i'm, I'm confident that she would give is there is a setting in the game audio settings okay called 3d audio which claims to give uh, an idea of whether a monster is above or below you in a 3D sense. As far as I'm aware, headphones huh. are not good at that at all, and the human ear itself is horrendously bad at telling uh, up from down. It's actually a, a well-known like audio phenomenon where you can very easily be confused and think something that's above you is coming from below you because the mm -hmm. human ear just... We've got it's hard to tell. Side of our head, so left and right is easy to I hear. Understand. Up and down sucks. So if I look at, if I look at, you know, for example, like hitting the button to recenter the camera, there's never an instance where recentering the camera will ever aim at Altrion's head. Right. Like there's never, there's never a time where, for example, if I recenter the camera, it would aim at the head of Altrion. It would consistently keep it move to where it was in a certain direction and also like I'll, I'll tell you that like at least from my experience uh you definitely can't tell whether it's and, and like again i've killed this monster literally once on the actual mode and once on easy mode so i don't really know what i'm talking about in terms of like the nuances of it but there's like no way in my mind to be able to hear any sort of audible difference whenever the monster's head is above or below you uh, yeah, I attempted it myself and I could not tell. I was looking okay. up uh, at the ceiling for three attempts. I was looking at the floor then for two attempts where I was trying not to look at the ceiling. I was actively trying to push my camera down. Um, but I, in zero attempts, ever kept the camera horizontal despite all my blindfolded uh, practice. The only way that I could is there's a setting in the game settings where you can actually turn off uh, vertical camera. I don't think they are. Like pause. It just only goes horizontal. Yeah. And that was super helpful. And I was. But she didn't have that on. That was not used. Yeah. 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 And the other people that did do blindfolded speed runs all used that setting. Or they did a lock on. I think actually yeah. every other one that I've seen has used a lock on. I don't think any of them have used the locked uh, up camera. and down. Yeah. Yeah. Of course. Uh, movement. Yeah. I, I think they just didn't want to deal with like trying to echolocate the entire fight. Uh, right. In Sekiro, the only times I ever echolocate are when the lock-on 
echo misses, okay. or uh, a couple times I have to grab an idol, which makes like a low hum, but that's it's horrible strategies. I hate when I sure, have to do it, but sure, yeah. there's just a couple times you have to. I understand. Yeah. May I add may I add our resident electron or Latron expert who taught her how to fight the monster to maybe explain some of the techniques as an expert in this oh, monster? No. Sure. Conference. This is really conference. And also, like I, I will say that the the way that the camera is readjusted in the situation that you're talking about with like holding the alt or the control key does not re does not reflect at all the way that she re recentered the camera it's immediate it's extremely like robotic and there are no micro adjustments that happen at all and it never recenters oh, the God. camera on the head and it actually recenters the camera in front of where the character is facing so like if my character is facing this way it will recenter it uh, 90 degrees in the character. Like, if my character's running left, it will recenter it left. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's that's what I was saying before. That uh, it's used a few times throughout the run, but it's never specifically used. Uh, to, yeah, Brooklyn. <laughs> well, it's used maybe twice to center vertically, and it yeah, it's never used to aim, aim on the it's head. Never. Yeah, it's never really. used to readjust. Yep. Exactly. I'm pretty sure that the 3D setting and audio for this game, what it does is if the monster is far away, he sounds not as loud. If he's close by, it's a louder effect or he sounds. But it's interesting setting now. I must test. There you go. So the person that you're adding in is a the person who like knows a lot about killing the boss? I do. Okay. How many times have you killed the boss? Uh, 8,800. Okay. Do you think oh, that the kill that she did okay. while she was blindfolded was legitimate? I do. Why? Uh, there's been a lot of times that I've seen her personally run it in Discord. That's what everyone says. Did you do it? I did it two years ago. Where? Two, three years ago, something like that. In my own personal Discord once upon a time. On oh, a dare. but there's and like... Okay. Did he lock on? So you were able to do a blindfolded and... What do you think about the video that was released about it? About Carl's video? Yeah, Carl's video. I watched bits and pieces of it. Why not whole thing? It's about so someone you I care about. his and Abyssoth's actually. I actually found Abyssoth's to be better. Okay. okay. More explanation. So what did Abisoff? What was this? What was the? Well, Abisoff actually like consulted Bubsy, and he uh, went through and you know kind of showed like the uh, the the ability to. Peek <laughs> We're not the hostile, don't worry. The blindfold, I guess. The blindfold. Oh, it's okay. Yeah. The, We're not. We just. Guess, you know, we're just listening. Blindfold <laughs> speedrunners. It was recommended by me. Oh, was it? Okay. Yep. Sorry, Mitch. You and I have not had a chance to actually well, speak. Unfollow, yet. Mitch, reload, and also, follow. can you? If you tilt your head in a certain way, can you see through that blindfold? Through? No. Below? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah, yes. Uh, Below. Side? Yes. Yeah. It, it is. It is possible with any any blindfold. What do I think like, of this? So far? I think it's really interesting. As someone who's like a casual player in any games, um, I usually approach it with like, do not stress about it. Have fun. So even with Elden Ring, I do not care if I die like 50 times or more. Like you've seen me just play for like four hours on the dragon because I think that like I expect myself to be bad. I think personally, someone who's bad at the game but loves it and enjoys it a lot is a better winner than someone who's so good at the game. But hates it. Ashley, welcome in. Thank you so much for gifting Grace. Welcome. Thank you. That's what I think with the games I play. Whether it's something simple or as big of a game I'm trying out now in Elden Ring. Like I try to enjoy it. I try I'm scared, I'm terrified, but I try to experience it and have fun. 
And obviously there are people who are good at better at the game. They take the extra challenge to like do like blindfold run or like extra challenge stuff. Like elements that like limit you from taking like certain kind of like level up. Add all these like extra challenge to make it harder. Uh, which is cool, which is an aspect that I just like do not engage in myself to play. So this is really interesting. But also the fact that some of like people go out of their way to fake it, it's like interesting in a like bizarre way, I guess. So there's part of me hoping that this is real. So that the the streamer gains something from it at the end by being able to prove herself. But also like how it gets nitpicked and everything. The community itself, at first I thought they were just being too picky. But they really had good points that I didn't even think about. So it's just been an interesting story for me. And... Yeah, I just didn't know that people can play games like this. <laughs> and a community for it is this hardcore. Like, I heard about speedrunning community, but... It's why I don't buy with it. Nagin, thank you! Thank you for gifting Taylor. I get that. I get that why people might not like it. Uh, but I find it just interesting because I think even as a as person who's watching it, I'm being just kind of casual. I'm not trying to partake it, partake in it. I'm, I guess I'm trying to respect it though because there are people who are spending a lot of time doing it. And if they find that to be rewarding, like how I find it rewarding to just keep fighting the same dragon for four hours with like low level... And I beat it and I feel like a sense of like, yes, I did it. That was like painful, but that was fun. I'm glad I did it. So I have that feeling. And if that's what they get from doing this, like have your fun. You know, you it's you already have the game. I feel like it's such a like innocent hobby to have anyway. There are like people who do really stupid, dangerous things for fun and risk like even other people's safety. Like, you're just doing, like, an additional challenge run, like, in a very stubborn way. But I think, yeah, I think it's fine. I think it's cool. Uh, as long as they don't, like, pressure other people or, like, undermine other people's way of playing. I think it's fine. But in this case, they're picking it apart not because they're not, they're not doing it an easier way. They're picking it apart because they believe it to be fake. So I don't think it's being too harsh. Especially because the things that she did and claimed that it was done with blindfold, it is like insane. Have fun, don't try to invalidate other people's hard work. Yeah, or like other people's way of enjoying it. But I think in trying to invalidate this, it's a little, it, it is different because she. She claimed she can do something and she did it, but it looked very suspicious to people who's been doing this for years. So I understand that if they're a part of that community and they care about it a lot and they want people to do it in a legitimate way, if they're gonna say that they can do it, like, yeah, they. I think it's smart to watch it <laughs> and make sure it's for real, for real, you know? I'm not entirely aware. But did she earn anything from the blindfold runs? Any rewards or something? I think that... Um... If everyone believed her, she definitely got famous from it. Clout. She probably... Her stream could have grown her content. Like her viewership would have gone up. If everyone believed like... Her core community did. Asmin Gold initially believed I did too when I saw that. But then she wasn't able to convince the hardcore blindfold speedrunners. I guess that's where it kind of went downhill. So it could have given her growth as a content creator. But now she's well known, but probably not in the way that she wanted to. There's literally no rewards from this game. But as of in-game, yeah, I think it's personal gratification. ...to potentially see down because it just creates a gap with your nose. Um, <laughs> the one that I recommended does have a little uh, fabric flap that's sort of supposed to prevent that because mm -hmm. it's a sleep mask. That's what 
blindfolds are effectively are without yeah. you know getting yourself you know investigated by the fbi or something i don't know yeah but um so it's supposed to keep the light out from the bottom but that that little fabric flap at the bottom doesn't do a a great job i can definitely see out through a hole next to my nose if i if i try to mm -hmm. so like what you're saying is that if if for example you did tilt your head in a certain way with that blindfold on that you suggested you could very easily be able to see the screen just very uh, simple yeah okay yep. dang like these people that the mod got it mate got <laughs> invited into the vc is not his allies Uh, well, I mean, I don't even really know what else to say. Yeah. I mean... I think story's over. So you think that it's legitimate, and you think that, like, because it, it's kind of crazy to me that pretty much every single other person who's done any sort of blindfold speedrunning at all doesn't think it's legitimate. And that's what I think makes this interesting, is that you said that you think that it is. 97%. I mean, three percent uh, chance. Asriel, right? Yes, yes, Asriel. Sorry, there's a lot of new people. I'm, I'm a little bit confused. <laughs> oh, wait, unless this is no, a different that's person. Fine, that's fine. That's, uh, like I, I'm trying to figure out who you're addressing. Yeah, yeah. Um, sorry. No, I, I, I find it to be legitimate. I have no reason not to believe so. So, uh... um, what about the evidence that was presented? Like, for <laughs> example, that she had the third monitor and she had OBS on the third monitor. Um, I've seen the setup. It's chatty, so chatty doesn't reflect the video. Can't she move OBS? I mean, I guess there's a monitor with chatty. I mean, it's very possible that she did. I don't see why she did. Uh, like, I don't find. Were you I there, really, Taylor? A camera on it, moving it over. So I can't. Oh, verify. oh, you mean are you copying what these guys are saying? <laughs> I thought you meant like you were in chat, watching her live. I thought the only person well, that would honestly know would be her. Correct. Not necessarily, because like, so whenever Carl showed his video, and this is a, a pretty important part of the video, he you showed that chat. she had the mouse button clicked down, and then yeah. the mouse was also detecting, because the mouse, it detects all movement, right? Including correct, clicks so and by the also same token, movement. she could have been dragging Spotify, she could have been dragging whatever over there, correct? Yes, that is correct, but don't you find it so to be... So, evidence, oh, like evidence, yeah, no, I find it, I find it... I find all of the speculation, I find that he took two weeks to come up with a whole bunch of plausible ideas like, hey, let's look at lock-on, hey, or let's look at, what was it, uh, aimbot, really? Aimbot, one person in the world has the software? Yeah. So, so I think that the reason things. why it was OBS okay. is because whenever <laughs> she finished Angel, welcome. The, the other one was more interesting. This one so much, it seems like this happened. Yeah. It's kind of repetitive at this point, but I came too far. I'm like almost there. I'm like 10 minutes left. That's why I'm watching it, honestly. It's like I almost finished something. I'm just gonna go all the way. He's cooking his last video. is a quick one. <laughs> yeah. Whenever okay. she finished doing the run and she took her blindfold off, she fixed her hair looking at the third monitor. That's only something that a person on camera would do you think yeah uh, i mean i've been in discord calls with her before i've seen her fix her hair for no apparent reason yes because she's probably <laughs> looking at herself in the discord call or she took her blindfold off moved her headset around and moved her this hair was before the run it does i mean i i understand no I understand. no this was before the run this is before she put on the blindfold not after she took it off you're saying you're saying that like basically it, the only time anybody fixes their hair is when they stare in a mirror i think that you ever whenever, run your hand through your hair uh like, i do randomly? um whenever okay. i ch whenever i m i do that you're right uh of course i think everybody does that but i think that whenever i do that i look in different places and i don't True look card. in one place that i'm also showing chat from and yes, also chat, i'm flirting uh -huh. and, and so um also, whenever I do that, I'm not, I'm usually trying, and, and if I do have a mirror in front of me, I will look at the mirror. I think anybody would, naturally. If you're fixing your hair or moving your, your hand through your hair, you're probably going to be looking at a mirror 
if a mirror is present. Inky. Does that make sense? Is he getting angry? Okay. So yeah, that that's what makes me think that she moved. Does he sound angry? Is because obviously the so like Defensive? basically okay. based off of the movements of the mouse, it is evident that she probably moved a program over to that other monitor. And based off of the fact I think that at this point as Gold is pretty hair, convinced hair, that's not at the real. end of the video after she took the blindfold off makes me think that it was OBS. Can I add something here as well is that right before we see her dragging uh, something over to the right monitor, we do see OBS on the middle screen and you can kind of track her mouse movement and see that it could not have gone anywhere aside from the dragging to the right. We did actually see it on the middle monitor first, uh, then their dragging happens, and then afterwards, after the fight, it's yeah. no longer on the middle monitor. And you, you can see that right there at, at 13, 12. Uh, you, you, and it's very evident that OBS is there and that she would be able to see herself through OBS. So, uh, yeah, I, I think that, again, it's just the likelihood of this being anything other than OBS is just extremely low. I would say it's, it's bordering on just not happening. It's just not what, it's not what it is. Um, Asmongold, well, may I ask a question? Yeah. Um, when we, I remember on your, whenever you reacted to, I to tell uh, the, the video that came out before she did her second run. Sure, the first initial video. You, yeah, yeah, you yourself said after it was quote unquote disproven and it was made to be fake, and you yourself said, do I think that it's impossible? No, I think the, that it is unlikely. In fact, I think that it is less than unlikely. Okay. And and again, I'm not arguing. What is that? that what something... is that? What's that? I, I'm I'm what, not sure. What, what, what does that have to do with it? So what I'm saying is is that we're we're all talking about how these things are unlikely. That it's very unlikely that she did this. It's very unlikely. It's unlikely. It's unlikely. That's a three percent chance. It's a ninety-seven percent chance. That this isn't real. What I'm asking is to, like I mentioned before, just repeat it. Um, repeat and, it. And and the difference. The difference between the first time and the second time is that whenever I made that value judgment, I didn't know how much I was uninformed about the different nuances yeah. of any sort of speed running and doing it with a blindfold. So my value judgment there was inaccurate and uneducated. And I would say even in the case now, it is still inaccurate and only partially educated. And if I was looking to make constraints about actually doing a legitimate run, I would consult somebody who knew more about it than I did. So using me as a reference to myself, whenever I refer to myself as an unworthy or unreliable, uh, you know, way to, like to judge it, I don't really now. think that's a very good argument. Okay. I guess I was just saying that just because something seems unlikely doesn't mean that it's impossible. And but if I'm something asking... seems unlikely, it's more, it it's probably not happening, right? I mean, like. Also, they're asking people to believe something that he, the mod, even calls it now less than likely. Less than unlikely. So, if that, if you want to have people believe something that's less than unlikely, you have to. Prove it. Like, you know, for example, unless you don't care like, if people believe it, it or not, then to yeah. Flip a coin and get don't. heads two times in a row. Yeah, sure. Is it likely to flip a coin and get heads two hundred times in a row? No. Are they both possible? Yes. Is the probability of each in instance the same? No, it's not. So, just because there is a probability of something not being true or being true doesn't equate all probabilities to each other. Like you're talking That's about fair. like a like a likelihood of like, yeah, maybe this is possible versus, yeah, maybe the people that are looking at this that have more experience in this than probably any of us do playing the base game even also think that it's improbable. Sure. And, and, and then in that vein, I will concede that it is incredibly unlikely and I yes. don't want to push anyone too far. I don't want to get into anything heated or a debate or anything. It's not my intention. Sure. Um, I, I would very much like 
for her to be given an opportunity to demonstrate that she can indeed do this under the correct constraints of a, of a professional, mm -hmm. such as Mitra's or his colleagues, who would be able to set up the constraints and controls to do this in a transparent fashion. He sounds given like, enough he time sounds to allow like herself to cry. ready herself emotionally, physically, and, and to be able to perform it again well, under and, the proper standards. And also, I mean, like, I do find it to be interesting that whenever the first video came out that was disproving her, she had no problem coming out right away yeah. and saying, this video is bullshit, I'll prove you wrong. Mm -hmm. And now the second time, she's not doing that. That's that to me seems to be very interesting. And I think that the reason why is that the first video, the people that were like, basically the accusations that people had were wrong. Mm -hmm. There's no way that anyone can definitively prove mm -hmm. what was moved where there's no one that can definitively prove if she was able to see through or looked underneath the blindfold and the, what it, it is, is this a very mean? convincing argument there's a lot of suggested evidence Why? there i'm not i'm not saying that there isn't not at all mm -hmm. i'm i'm saying that if that is truly the question can she do this or not uh, the, uh, under the presence of all the right constraints and doing it correctly with all the experts involved that yeah. would that then be enough Um, I don't know. I really don't know. And that's the truth. I would have to look and see what that proof would be. And I would have to see, I would try to figure out who it was and what it was that you would need for proof. Because I don't know enough about it myself. Okay. I look forward to yeah. more conversations with Mitra's and whomever else that we could okay. talk to that would be able to give us that information in a transparent fashion so that mm -hmm. we could do this. Okay. okay. Great. Yeah, I, that I sounds very good. If she, if she I, welcomes it and she's okay with that... I can't then, believe yeah, there's part three or they're willing Absolutely. for it. I really appreciate your time. I, I, I know that it's been a long time on the stream. Oh, boy. Oh, welcome. You know, being given the, the, the stage to speak to you. I'm really appreciative of everything that you've done and, and for all the, the coverage that you've given her and the support mm -hmm. that you gave her. I'm Congratulations on your kill, and I'm very hopeful that we can do something so that we can finally put this to rest. I agree. I definitely agree. And so, yeah, if people in the community want to come up with a set of parameters or figure out what would make sense, then yes, I think that would be the best idea. I think this whole thing, what it gave me is that uh, there was a third monitor for real for real. The mod came in to try to defend her and gave us the proof that Oh, you thought there was a there might be a third monitor. There really is a third monitor. That's basically Absolutely. what I gained from Okay. Well, thank you very much for your yep, time. I'll sure. uh, take up any more of your stream and I hope you have a great rest of your night. Absolutely. Yep. You guys too. Thank you all very much. I appreciate it. All the insight and everything and uh, yeah, thanks a lot guys. Take care. Yeah, thank you for I'll having me. Yeah. <laughs> all right goodbye yeah holy shit man like i mean if they're still defending it i'm actually very surprised yeah i am very 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 surprised i don't even know what to think yeah i mean like I, I still think it's bull I, I do think it's bullshit but at the same time i'm pretty interested i definitely am damage control the issue is that she was already given a set of parameters and she didn't do them. Well, we'll have to wait and see. Yeah, at this point, I want her to do it for real. Yeah. Yeah, I think that people should come Me up with too. the parameters, figure out what they're going to be. It'd be insane if it is for there. real, they're for real. Payroll. She wins then. <laughs> yeah, yeah, maybe they are. I don't know, man, but uh, She's a superwoman. Fuck. That was a rabbit hole I did not expect to go down that deep. God damn. He held a conference. To be honest, yeah. No, I still think that it's totally fucking fake. But I'm also very surprised about what happened. I definitely am. Invite her to OTK to stream it? Yeah, maybe. Knowledgeable, unbiased third party in the room? 
Yeah, it's good to actually have the expert opinion of somebody who's a legit blind run, speed runner, et cetera. Yeah, 100%. Altrion expert was beyond useless. Well, I mean, I don't know. He was just saying he thought it happened. I mean, that's it. And he said that he could do it or that he did do it. But, you know, there was no evidence of that. So it's hard really to base anything off of that. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, thank you guys all very much for watching. I very much appreciate it. And until next time, boys. Peace. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I guess there's a possibility for a third run. That's something I did not expect at all. As to your farmer. <laughs> Thanks for watching with me.